Hi, this is Josh Smith with Notebooks.com. Today we're looking at the HP Mini 210, HP's latest consumer netbook. Uh, this is a nice, slim, colorful uh, netbook from HP. It has a 10.1 inch screen, glossy finish. Uh, the, the model that we have has a 1366 by 768 display, which is really nice. Uh, I can't do with anything lower than that on really any notebook these days, so I really appreciate that option. You can get a Broadcom HD adapter or HD accelerator, uh, but this model is not configured with it. Uh, as such, we can play SD content at full screen, either from Netflix or YouTube, without any trouble, uh, but when we try and do anything HD, it really can't handle it. The keyboard is an island style keyboard similar to the 5102 that we looked at uh, but this does not have the Duracoat finish and it doesn't have quite as much of a uh, concave and extra spacing as we saw in the other one. Still a great typing experience. Uh, the trackpad is actually kind of an interesting design. It's one full trackpad and you can track all over it, you can move around all over it uh, it doesn't, have, doesn't seem to have a right scroll zone in my use so far, but you can scroll with two fingers. But the mouse buttons are actually built right in. And the whole thing will like click, kind of like the screen on a Blackberry Bold. Um, but what I did find is that when I mouse, I tend to have a little bit of difficulty because I'll, I'll keep my thumb over here to click, and it'll actually pick that up as, as being on the mousing surface. So um, a nice, generous trackpad, but you might have to tweak your mousing habits just a little bit to, to take advantage of it. Um, the keyboard, uh, as I mentioned, very generous, very easy to use. The arrow keys over here uh, kind of have a unique design, really small up and down arrow keys, but I do like that because they made that design, uh, you do have a full size shift key and just a really nice overall keyboard. We do have a webcam up top. As we notice, there's a nice red cover. We have a battery right here, uh, nice and slim. There's also an extended option. Uh, along the right-hand side, we have our SD card reader, our power switch, vent, uh, two USB, Ethernet port, tucked away. Kind of like how that's nice and sleek in there. Uh, your Kensington lock slot, and. This is nice, they brought back the VGA. I have the HP Mini 1000, and I can't tell you how nice it is to have just VGA built right in, and it works. Uh, we have the power slot over here. We also have a USB uh, hard drive indicator light. We have a vent over here and a headphone. And along the front, we just have some extra vents. Uh, overall, it's just a very nice, slim device. It, feels good, it weighs really not a whole lot when you consider what it can do. Uh, it's powered by an Intel N450 processor, 1.66 gigahertz, one gig RAM standard, uh, but you can change that up to two real quick. Check out the video down, down below this at notebooks.com uh, in our full review for how to change out the RAM in about 10, 20 seconds. Um, but overall, really do like this it's a great upgrade uh, from some of the earlier HP netbooks and it definitely is one of the hottest selling netbooks out there I believe it is around 299 329 um, and that's all head to notebooks.com to check out the full review of the HP mini 210